Bubba enjoys the peace weed. Bubba just likes the way it makes him feel. Mm-hmm. It makes him feel like he's got tiny little butterflies underneath his skin. Bubba, That's maybe, something maybe, Bubba likes. Maybe allergic to peace weed. <laughs> when did you get so fast? Uh, Holy Welcome back to Quit Playing Adventures of Bubba. Um, Blair still got the controller. Uh, we're smoking some peace weed. Uh, we just sold a bunch of stuff off the camera <coughs> and uh, made some potions and whatnot. <coughs> still so, wearing a bucket on our head. Uh, it's a very shiny bucket. Onward and upward. Let's go find... This old monk's friend. Oh, he's right down there. Yeah. We you actually made a, it to the quest marker. You got a nice marker. shield, mate. We actually made it to the quest marker. Check that shit out. Yeah. It only really Bubba took us an hour. In roads. Hello. Um, uh, who are you? I'm Bubba. Just a traveler. You are Alfred, right? The childhood friend of the man named Yero. Uh, Yero, I. Uh, this is about his death, his death uh, at a rampage. You've heard about it? Of course, who hasn't? Yero was one of us, after all. It is terrible. Simply terrible. Uh, you want to hear an old man's opinion, though? I. I always expected that something like this would happen. Did you see the broom like fly out of his other hand for a second? <laughs> it's the truth. You mean you saw a coming old timer? How? Hard to explain, really. Come on, uh, let's find somewhere to sit. Uh, it'll be easier to talk that way. Yes, I, I reckon old timers don't like standing much. Park bench, that's a little old nose. Well, Yero. Yero. That's quite a subject, you know. You were right when you said we were best friends. Our fathers knew each other. And as long this as is I neat, remember, this whole, like, Yero sitting and talking thing. Getting into trouble together. This is neat. At least until his like, I don't remember many scenes from Skyrim doing this. Not of old age, I assume, old timer. No. Bandits killed her in broad daylight on, on Penny Road. Today these incidents are common, but not back then. The road was considered safe. Very safe. Bubba respects car, women. Accompanied by three other women, and they were set upon at the pass. None of them survived. Aww. Yellow was shattered. Damn. Officially decayed, and the poor guy filled his days with boozing, sleeping. It changed Yellow forever. How oh, exactly? Just depression? Well, that's a good question. On the one hand, he became a man, despite his tender age. On the other hand, something inside him woke up, so to speak. A desire to make more of his life. Old Mother Jellico noticed it and took him under her wing. He learned how to read and write. Soon he knew all the holy verses by heart. Bubba finds it disrespectful to look people in the eye. <laughs> he, he transformed his grief into productivity. Sounds like a rather positive development, don't we reckon? Indeed. Before he was the, the jewel of the village, the striving young fisherman destined for great things, even though he was only on the path of a manufacturer. And then the inevitable. I wonder if I'm still going to be able to do the bubble the voice when I'm not sick anymore. To see the when my voice comes back, you know. And behold, mm. in a 
addition to Yellow's ingenuity, we'll find out what we slumbering magical talent. The keeper took him away, and a few months later, he started his novitiate. Since then, I've only seen him once or twice, as he barely visited with the mill. I, I don't think he ever noticed how much that hurt me. Um. Isn't that uncommon for someone on the manufacturer's path to get a, cha a chance to become a gaper? <laughs> if one of the manufacturers makes it to sergeant of the guard, it's reason enough for a bard song. He must have been the first novice in centuries who was not of the sublime path. So yes, sir, it is uncommon. More than that. Wonder what the birds are doing up there at the top of that mountain. I checked out of what that old time I was saying. I lost interest about 30 minutes ago. So what did you mean by I always suspected that something like this would happen? Oh, it's hard to explain. I believe it was the way he was talking about his grand plan. How he wanted to make the world a better place to become the greatest keeper since Lorem Waterblade. Underneath all this, there was a there was an anger, an anger mixed with deep. Oh, look at Sassy Guard coming up over here. Uh, I don't He's think like, well. do I'm so happy. I'm a town guard. This is the first day of my new life. My life should be a sitcom. Hey, you, do you want to write a sitcom about me? Hey. Hey, do you think it would be... Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's going to be fun to, like, track that. <laughs> Especially since it's going to be really easy to track with this. With all the colors. In my experience, memories, not much. Making me weary. All right. Thanks for your help, old timer. Yes, of course. All right. So we go back to Jaspar. All right. Back to the beginning. Marty, we have to go back. Do we? Can we fast travel? We might be able to. No. No fast travel. Why is it telling us to go back to the cave? It's telling us to go to Yero's house. Oh. Can we not fast travel there? No. No, apparently not. Onward we go. It's fine. I don't mind walking everywhere. This place is pretty. And there's a bunch of cool stuff on the way. Yeah. Like, there's always something to look at. I hear piggy links. Those horses? The cows. Oh. <laughs> Look at how rad this sword is. It's such a rad Did sword. You Can you show me where it is? Did you look at the shrine yet? Hey, Blair. Blair. What? Did you look at the shrine yet? Can can you not? I assume it's this shrine. What other shrine is there? Oh? At the beginning of the current, a big stone with a raised bleak tree in the west. Huh. So, the start of this river? Ugh. Excuse me. Towards the west. I think. At the start of the current. That, that would be my guess. Rivers flow outwards, right? Yeah. Yeah, because there's a, it's a waterfall. So you go up the... Oh yeah, it's Skyrim. 
I sit near smoking peace weed. This is such a chill place. Yeah. It's like Boulder, Colorado. Yeah, there's just gone to this area. Full disclosure, I've never been to Boulder, Colorado. I just hear the people there smoke a lot of weed and are like fiercely liberal. Just seems like a place where a bunch of hippies are. But like at the same time I've met some hippies that are not nice people. That like Is it is it gonna make you go to the top of the fucking mountain? didn't finish the quest, so I assume it's not it. Yeah. Huh. <clears throat> Where did the wolf go? So I guess let's just go to Yero's house. We can look it up later. Or look it up as I'm going to Yero's house, and then come back here later. Probably have a quest somewhere. I have a quest for it, but it doesn't show me where it is because it's a riddle. Because why? Why, why would it just give me the answer? I don't know. Oh, here we go. At the beginning of the current, yeah. Oh my, this is getting Bleak tree. confusing. Maybe we should just take a look around. What do you think? We were right about the shrine, so maybe the next clue is also hidden somewhere near here. I'll wait right here. Somewhere near here. It says there's a bleak tree. It said to the west, which is this way. Like, at the start of the current, to the west. You need to look for a bleak tree. That doesn't ah, help wolf. me. What does bleak mean? A leek is a vegetable similar to an onion. And B is the second letter of the alphabet. That... So we're looking for two onions. No. No? I keep doing this thing where I'm raising my voice at you. I just want you to know it's a bit. Because you keep getting a little spicy with me. Oh. There's the start of the current. There is the start of a current. And look for a bleak tree. That that one? Is that the bleak tree? What? Dead one? I guess not. It's pretty bleak. This one has a base built around it. A lonesome traveler. Lonesome traveler is setting you on fire, bitch. Got you. What now? You are dead. I don't even need your stuff. And not meditation. Kill him with fire. Oh, you berserker rage. Yeah. Dude, that weapon Shink. is freaking ridiculous. Yeah. Just setting people on fire left and right. I took his flesh on accident. Oh. Don't eat human flesh. I didn't eat his flesh, I just took it on Those accident. Those are protein, it's Aryan. In a pinch, the blood of your enemies will do. 
There's a troll over there. There is a troll over there. Oh, that looks like a pretty bleak tree. That is a pretty bleak tree. I think you found it. Ah, that's not gonna let you cheese it. For a second, I thought there was an ice claw down there, but it was just flowers. I hear, I hear Vinroot. Vinroot. This is not Skyrim. Yeah, this is... It's the wrong planet. There it is. <laughs> Yoink. Ah, come on. It's right up there. Some, I Don't find it easier to platform off. in uh, third person sometimes. Is this not it? There's a staircase. There is a staircase. Over there. I hear more Vinroot. This probably leads to a dungeon. Would make sense. Some stuff over here. Strong box? Notes of the finder. 100 penny coins? I found it! Notes of the finder. Cold knight? Cold knight? Hell yeah, take that shit. Was that a 12 damage sword? Like, one hand? No, it's a great sword. Four points of frost damage to health and stamina? Yes, please. Hell yeah, fucking ice sword. Old night. I feel like that's a. Did reference you read the letter? Something. I didn't. Not yet. Note to the finder. Dear finder, if you read this, it means that you found my legacy. Whoever you are, take it and use it for something meaningful. I repeat myself. Meaningful. Under no circumstances I will give my daughters and their idiotic activities even a single penny of my hard-earned money. B. Lechwick. There is it a P.S. Huh. Some dude just decided he wasn't going to leave his legacy to his children and so set up an elaborate, um, an elaborate, uh, scavenger hunt. It's 12 damage. I say we to... just take the money and leave the kid. They're both the same amount of damage. It's just that one does fire damage and the and other one does, one does ice damage. Ice damage. And one is immediate ice damage, and the other one is uh, damage over time. I'm gonna try the ice too. damage. It also does. Too. It also does like health and stamina damage. Let's return to Silas and give him some of the money. How do we switch positions? What do you mean? We switched chairs and became... Because I was just like, I say we keep the money and leave Silas. And you're like, let's go give Silas half the money. <laughs> uh, that was the whole plan from the first place, was that I was going to give the money to Silas. Oh yeah, because his dad needs to pay the landlord. Yeah. Just fuck off and leave with the money. Silas tickled Bubba's heartstrings. But also, it'll give us experience if we finish the quest. That's too. You make a persuasive argument. Hey, Silas. You were right. There was a treasure at the end of all these clues and a lot of coin. That's awesome! How much was it? I get one half, you get the other. Give Silas half the money. Oh, you can give him half the money, a third, or say that I need the money. I'm gonna give him half the money. I wish it also had an option to give him, like, the lion's share of the money. She go find Silas's dad and see if you can talk to him. 
Oh, we level, level up. Get meta. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Um, do we have meditation? Yeah. I'm follow him a little bit. See if he takes us to his dad. Thanks again. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Bubba, why are you following this young boy? <laughs> I would like to meet his father. We just happen to be going the same direction. He's following the signs to Ark. I'm a sassy guard. I'm just walking around. Okay, he's not going anywhere in particular. Right. We're going to the bar now. I wanted to shake that boy's father's hand. Running. And running, and running, and running, and running. A pack rhino. It's a bigger version of that little uh, pet thing the merchant had. That's adorable. That's rad. They get huge. Da, da, da. Um. It'd be cool if we could get mounts. It would be cool. I mean, it is like riding a horse around, or like riding a giant pachyderm. So burnt out house. Old tunnel discovered. Old tunnel. What? Go in the tunnel. Search in the area first. Into the tunnel we go. Bubba wants to try out his new sword. Uh, eight. Iron ore. The, it's the, the trap door. Don't jump down there. It won't let me. <laughs> I was totally trying. Ah, uh, Skellymans! Wow. God damn. That two-handed weapon upgrade did some work for Bubba. Yeah. Divine Shield Spell Tone? Increases armor rating by 30 for 240 seconds. That's kind of rad. Just a full mage armor. Another ambrosia recipe. Ghost wrapping and nightshade. Geographical overview of Vin. There's another chest over here. Axe, saw, smoking pipe. They're worth six, so I'll take it. Health potion, hell yes. I can't use the ladder. And I have my, I have to use my trusty bonking stick. I kind of want to put the fire on that's the a, mace. That's a troll. That is a troll. Get him. Oh yeah, we have a level up. Oh yeah, we never fucking used the level up. Yeah. To the meditation room. Oh, and we didn't show this before. Oh, yeah, it's the fucking level up screen. But it's the level up screen. There's the rogue, and then uh, the big old warrior over here, and the magician, or the mage. It's 
rad as hell. We uh, should level up magic. Should we level up magic? Or two handed fighting, I Fantasmal. guess. Phantasmal. Depth concentration. Chance your enhance your light and uh what kind of magic is the destruction? Uh it's like frost, fire, and lightning. But uh so that would be elementalist, I guess? Yeah. Um that okay. Depth, concentration, concentration, psionics and entropy, arcane light, and elementalists, prove the use of elemental magic. If only we could find a magic weapon that only uses one hand. Um, ah, ooh. arcane fever. There's stuff at your feet. Blue quartz. That's what this big stuff is. Potion of enchantment. Ten spare parts. You're getting magic radiation. Yeah. Boop, boop, give me a little stuff. Moon carrot. Eat the moon carrot, Bubba. Can't see shit. Can't see shit. Torch time. Bam. This is a small cave troll. These the trolls a lot. Well, they're it makes sense that they'd be in a lot of caves. Yeah. And I actually kinda like that they're more prevalent than they were in Skyrim. They didn't show up as much. The skelly men show up a whole lot too. Yeah, the, the fleshless lost ones. The enemies might be different based on what areas we're in, though. Because, like, we've been in this section of the map for a little bit. Oh, this is where yeah. we came in. That, that makes sense. I feel like that's pretty much all there is here. The tunnel didn't lead anywhere. I guess not. Kill the rabbit. Rabbit's Kill funny. the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. I can put this torch away now. There's the one. Fucking one shot that wolf. It was two. But still. Kinda crazy. That was a one shot. Everybody just dying. Bubba is Bubba's an apex come a long predator. Way. In such short time, too. Bubba's a master locksmith. 
jewelry box. Silver ruby ring, 260. Dude, we're gonna here? make so much money. Yeah. What quest are we on right now? We're going back to Yspar. Yspar? I hardly know her. Oh, the guy from the beginning of the yeah. game? Spare parts. Firm, leather, firm leather, curious. curious. Penta's house requires, requires key. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. We Whoa. might speed some of this up in the edit. Put yeah. some music over top. Where are you fishing for this? Is there a person around here with a key? Anybody got ice ooh, claw? Ice claw. You have a couple of those, you should eat them. Yeah, I think I only have like two of them. Ice claw. They're worth 40. Oh, I, I guess I ate the other one. You can't break into the lady's house. It says no. Alright, I guess not. <laughs> Fine. Okay, game. I won't break into the house. Oh, those are rats. I was like, what the fuck are those things? Smack. I will, however, kill all of these pit rats for experience. Take the fish. Did you take the salmon? Yeah. Oh, you can sleep. Health, Health potions, potions. Some spare parts. Scribble parchment. I've told Laudia that the bandits could become dangerous, but she will not leave this place. These bastards watch our house every night. Yeah. Probably should have left. Peace weed. Nice. It's sleep for ten hours. It's probably gonna be dark when we wake up. Yeah. Sleep for four more hours. There we go. Nice. Sharp woodcutter's axe. Hi, human body. Other human body. Did you take the meat? No. Why? What use do I have for human parts? Love is a proteinitarian. I don't think Bubba wants to eat people. I'll try anything twice. Oh, now you're going to Yarrow's cellar. Heard. I think you probably opened it. Whoa, he's got a fucking dungeon under his house? Highwayman? I fucking... Whoa. Fair. That's how that guy died. Yeah. Spell tune Chaos Nova? What? Chaos Nova. Unleashes a Chaos Nova at the targeted enemy, which does 11 points of entropic damage. Its damage raises by 13% per 10% 10 of your current you lost health. You should pick health. up that, that Iron War Axe and see if it does more than your uh, thingy. Bonk and stick. The, which one? He had an Iron War Axe. Does 5 damage. I'm pretty sure the, the bonk and mace stick does, does like more. 6. Yeah, it does one yeah, it does more six. damage. <coughs> Phasmalist workbench. Talisman, equip equipment, combat style, currently equipped. Combat Great style? Talisman? Okay, I guess I can't do that yet. 
said something about a combat style. Combat style, you do not wear a talisman. Equipment, you do not wear a talisman. Attributes, you do not wear a talisman. Hey. Currently equipped, you do not wear a talisman. Alright, apparently we do not wear a talisman. Fire salts, ectoplasm. Yeah, it's just far. Holy shit. Good thing I'm crouched. Are we gonna have to kill just far? I don't think so. The only dead person in here was a highwayman. Cause he's already down here, it sounds like. Ow. That's a, that was a trap. Hi, just far. Learning book memory point. Free memory point. Where is it? That's someone. New Learning book. There it is. Shit. Trader Devious. Increases rhetoric and sleight of hand. Uh, prices of merchants are 7% better. Yes, please. Yes, please. I'll take it. That one didn't well, have any art. Friend. Any luck? Had a chat with this Alfred. Uh, found what Yero tried to get rid of. Here, have a look. Interesting. I didn't know about his companion's fate, to be honest. Hmm. Irony of fate, isn't it? Murdered by those you wanted to help. But the order will definitely be interested in these letters. Well done. That just leaves the old man in the village. I did. What about yeah. you? Did you find so anything? Room down the hallway here. Just give me some time to figure out how to get it open. I had a chat with this Alfred. He seems to think that. Well, well. That's interesting. Good work. That should be all we need then. Splendid. What about you? Did you find I anything? Did. And now I finally know what to make of it. Come, follow me. Ah. Fog sponge. Oh shit. I present a star people's lock. And I bet my buttocks will find another answer behind that door over there. A star people's lock? I've never heard of that before. This kind of lock is usually only found in treasure. Bubba's never houses, heard of that before. It can be picked, but that's going to be quite the challenge. Bubba forgot to speak in the third person right there. You need bolts? You need bolts to open them? Normally, yeah. It's quite simple, actually. Every keyhole has a matching bolt that latches into place once you insert it. And once all the keyholes, <laughs> nice. five in our case, are latched, the door the lock protects. He said insert. If you don't have the matching bolts, however, you should prepare yourself you for the most soda? frustrating break in of your life. Yes. That is, if you don't have your feet to spar. I shall be right back, everybody. What kind of trick? You can use wooden sticks instead of bolts. They'll break a couple of seconds after you put them inside the lock, but if you manage to get all five sticks into place before the first one breaks, you can basically trick the mechanism. It's all about speed, in other words. So I'd say you do the running and I'll wait near the pressure plate. You ready? All right, then. Let's, let's do this. Need more right. sir. Go. By pressing sprint, you can sprint. Equipped weapons and armor slow you down. Oh, it's the wrong sprint button. Wrong sprint button.
just throw sticks into them. Yeah. Where are the other ones? They all have marks on them. Damn, that was too slow. Look at the. Try it again. Sorry, folks, I took the controller. Damn, that was too slow. Damn, we'll try here, again. you do it. Did you grab me a soda? There was only one left. Lame. That's why I said we need more soda. Uh. How long do we have left? Yeah, like 20 minutes. Uh, we'll try it again. There's a second one up there. Oh, uh, that's the one I missed. Yeah. I'm already out of time. Damn, that was too slow. We'll try it again. That was too slow. But now we know there's a fifth one up there. Right there, and then that one, and then there's one over there. Brilliant. Yeah, it. This. I did let's it. take a look and see what the old man. Yay, we did it. Bellissimo. Yeah, we did it. We ran around the room and stuck the sticks. Ah, it's a fire elemental. Holy shit, fire elemental. It's gonna blow up. It didn't. It did. Oh, it did. A fire elemental. Not a weak one. This arrow knew about magic, that's for sure. That leaves us with the question of what exactly this is supposed to be. Why don't you use the staff of healing? Instead of, of using Because it hammer. heals target, not self. Um, you dink. I, suppose that's his I read that a while ago. Though it's interesting that he was already on the wrong side of the law way before his <clears throat> rampage. He was on the wrong side of the law? Why? Well, burials are considered heathen here in Enderal. They have been forbidden for about 300 years. What? Here, corpses are always cremated. The whole thing's called oh. the last journey. The deceased is taken to a place he or she considered special during his or her life immediately after dying. That's the only way the soul can move on to the eternal paths. The eternal path. The only reason the order introduced the law was to prevent plagues. Plus, they might have noticed that too many lost ones running around on trade routes aren't that much fun for wanderers and traveling merchants. So burying someone like that is considered a crime? Yeah, but of course that only goes for the little man. The rich and powerful still tend to their family crypts, and there are still plenty of old vaults around from the time before this whole last journey thing was begun. And it's good that way. What would life as a treasure hunter be like without the notorious noble looking for family jewels in a field grave? Word. Let's take a look around and see if we find anything. Huh. It's the night mother. <laughs> There's Yero's memorial book. I'm still on Boone, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, arcane fever worsened. We're out of ambrosia, aren't we? I think so. Yeah, don't these? No, wrong thing.
What's that? Let me see. <laughs> a tragic ending for a tragic personality, I'd say. Well, I think that should suffice. What do you think about all this? The arrow was a self-righteous fool, just like all these do-gooders are. They celebrate themselves as great messiahs as long as everything goes well, but once they fail, it's the bad, bad world that's responsible for it. The wise hermit has a good saying for that. People are only idealists until it starts to hurt. He and his lady should have simply stayed in Riverville. Come on, that's nonsense. Mankind wouldn't be where it is without idealists. If it weren't for them, We'd probably still be worshipping Asteron. A Sauteron? A Sauteron. <laughs> I think that if we all just spent less time thinking about other people's problems, whores would have fuller purses, breweries emptier barrels, and tyrants fewer minions willing to cut their throats open for the one true god of the one true nation. <clears throat> so what's next? Are we going to Ark? Yeah, we are. Here. I've got two teleport scrolls that can take us right back Teleport to scrolls? Just meet me in the tavern once you're ready to go. I have some stuff to take care of, so there's no need to hurry. Farewell. Okay. So, teleport scroll. Teleport scrolls. So that's a thing. Ha. <laughs> According to an old Enderalian legend, a creature which calls itself the Black Guardian lives in the deepest depths, depths of the Undercity. We heard. The Undercity, huh? I like that chatter. Like, nobody's talking directly to me, they're just talking. Yeah. It feels more alive than Skyrim is, where everybody just talks to you as soon as you walk past them. Drunken bee. Mighty, mighty bee. Remember that show? Yeah. I remember Mighty Bee. Mm -hmm. And with Bessie uh, B Higginbottom. Yeah, and uh, welcome to my life as a teenage robot. Teenage robot life. Not sure that's a good idea with this fever. Thanks anyway. Sure, wine. So, are you ready for our little journey? Just Spar likes that. It seems that Riverville's mire is <laughs> injured, so we'll have to go by foot. Uh, what's a myrid? Oh, right. You wouldn't know that since you're Naramese. Myrids are giant. What's a myrid? Quite nasty when wild, quite useful when tame. What? You can find myrid towers all over Enderal. And for a small fee, the keepers and their myrids can take you from point A to B in no time. <laughs> what? But, as I said, Riverville is <laughs> injured, so we'll have to walk. Yeah, let's go. Splendid. Let's wait until nightfall, though. That way, it's less likely we'll run into an ambush in the pass. Uh, one more thing. Up to now, you've seemed more like the close combat type to me. In battle, I mean. Am I right? Uh, I guess so. I was preferring to be discreet, or I was planning to learn more about magic. Which one? The bottom one, I guess. Hmm, I see. I'm asking because I was in the market just now, stocking up on provisions, and I got myself some new reading material. Here, I think you might find this useful. Nice. Ah, oh, he gave us magic books. Rad. What are these books? The Arizalian in my bed. 
Sensual Confessions of a Vagabond Lady, Volumes 1 and 2. You know, for the lonely nights. Jokes aside, these are learning books from arcanists or master fencers, depending on what you read. You know how to fight, but if you want to get better, you have to enjoy reading these once in a while. Thanks. You're welcome. Then off we go, I'd say. You go on ahead. Just take the route leading north out of Riverville. It'll lead us straight to the mountain pass. So long, Riverville. Another character accompanies you now. As long as you follow the preset path, Jaspar will follow you. If you leave that path, you do not need to go back to Jaspar. Just look out for the notification Jaspar follows you again. After some moments, he will be back by your side. If not, he will once you arrive in the foreign quarters of Ark. So he's following us now? We have a follower! We have a follower! Jaspar follows you again. So, following the path to Ark. Ark is a ways away. It is a ways away. So... Let's go check out the, the Myrid Tower. The Myrid Tower. Because it's already on the way. Myra Tower. Tire. Myra Tower. My Rad Tower. Come check out my Rad Tower, bro. That sounds gay. It's not gay, bro. I had my socks on. What's up? You gotta follow him. No, I just have to follow the set path or he's not gonna follow us. Bleh. That sucks. So I'm gonna go to the Myron Tower. <laughs> this just Sith lightning a bunny real quick. The zoom in on his face was priceless. He's just like, have I ever told you about the dark Plagueis the Wise? Has Bubba ever told you the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Oh, it's only I keep forgetting Bubba experience. only speaks in the third person. Yeah. Alright, let's go back to just far. I just come up and stab him in the stomach. Ah, hey. Let's push on. It's dark. It is dark. The the lighting's better in the video. It is. Huh. Ate the moon carrot. We're full health. Huh. Let's go. This is still pretty even though it's dark. Huh? This is still pretty even though it's really dark. Yeah. It's in the house the floor, over here. Aren't you? Take your time, I'll wait. I can use a break anyway. Okay, so that's what he said. He'll just let us explore. Oh, God. It's a rat. It's a fully grown rat. It's okay. Swords are a good pesticide. Buried cellar. Buried treasure. Iron Mace and a torch gonna clear out this Ah oh, god More rat skin 
right skin. I'm gonna wrap it around my feet. Rat skin. Rat shoes. I'll have the cozy toes in its meat. Rat skin. Maybe eat the meat while I make some shoes out of these fully grown rats. Um. Do you think Bubba taught Taekwondo before he got isekai to Nandoral? Or do you think he taught karate? Ow, what hit me? Or maybe it was Krav Maga. Did you say karate? The yeah. dang cook of martial arts? <laughs> Uh, I was- I made that joke with Vinny the other day. <laughs> it's all red in here. I'm holding a torch. Sorry, the scratching noises are me scratching my feet. For anybody interested, I've been wearing socks all day, and I got hairy feet. And when you wear socks all day with hairy feet, your, your feet hair like gets caught in the socks and it gets itchy sometimes so you gotta scratch your feet this has been my attack on him. this has been my TED talk oh he's got a bow too he's gonna burn kill him with fire he did He's very dead. Robe of magic regeneration. Is, is that a leather helmet? Cooking pot. Cabbage. Cook some food. Roasted, Roasted wolf, wolf meat. meat. Roasted salmon. Kills you by six points of health. Roasted rabbit's foot. Oh, we have so much wolf meat. Nice. Cooked food, let's go. Yeah, we get experience from new cooked feet. Cooked cooked food. Cooked feet. Cooked feet. Have you ever done the thing where you pick up a bucket and you put it on somebody's head and you just rob them blind? Hold up. On Lockpick spell. Key. Lock pick spell. Pixel lock. Pick a, pick a lock of the apprentice class. No pumpkin. Wine. That's empty wine. More wine. There's more wine in there. No, I'm pretty sure those are, yeah, those are empty. Is that it? Is that all that was in here? Oh, there's another door. I should heal, but I should not use boon. Rip off the wings of a butterfly. Where's the, oh, it's called grilled wolf meat. Roasted salmon. Bear. Roasted wolf meat. Ah. Blessed leather gauntlets. Another boon tone. More wine. You can sleep in here. Another ambrosia recipe. This is one we've seen before. Rip off the wings of a butterfly. Sleep. I think that was it for this room, though. 
There's more bad guys. Yeah. Cold night. That sword does so much damage. Bam. Just a scratch. Shink, shink, Just shink. a little scratch. Shink, shink, shink. Rugs. The rugs. Uh, the There's lost arrows green. on the table. There is arrows on the table. Okay, there's nothing that way anyway. And I think that's all of the stuff that's here. Because this is back towards the exit. Thought one of those rocks was a dude for a second. <clears throat> hey, it's still daylight. Rad. We only slept for two hours in there. Come on, you spar. You put away the weapon, but not the torch. I can't sing. Wish I could pick those flowers. I wish we could make it to art uh, before the end of the episode. I don't think that's gonna happen because we're already yeah, over time. Because it's already about that time to ask our uh, lovely viewers to um, like and subscribe and do all the stuff. Holy <laughs> shit, what is that? Wood elemental. Usually known as a spriggan, but apparently they don't heal. Usually they heal in, my, in huh. uh, regular Skyrim. Well, that's fun. But I think it's about time we quit playing.